What's going on, Meta Gang? It's Red. Um, as promised, when I uh, did the opening for it, uh, here is your Crystal Beast structure deck. I, I just want to show off the tokens because honestly, I like the tokens. Uh, starting off, we'll go through your hand traps and bricks first. Hand traps, we're playing three confront uh, contact C. So the funny thing is, if your opponent were to normal or special, so it doesn't matter at any given point during the turn when condition happens, you get to summon this card to their side of the field, and they're not allowed to touch their extra deck unless they use this card. So it's kind of like a scythe lock to a certain degree. Um, keep on going. Ash Blossom. We love Ash. We just love to tell our opponent, no, you're not allowed to touch your main deck, and just leave it at that. Okay. Um, still continuing on, hand traps and bricks. Two of Rainbow Dragon. Um, reason why two of, I have went through, sat down, and uh, played about five to six different designs of the deck. And I will say you definitely need to run two just because of there being two different fusions and all the different ways to touch monsters that are ultimate crystals. Uh, continuing on, speaking of Rainbow Dragon, we're playing Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. Honestly, probably my favorite card in the deck. If I were to change my monster ratio up at all, I would probably bump this up to three, but right now I have my third in the sideboard, so that way if I need to, you know, change out deck for consistency. And this is, again, three of structure deck. So uh, if a Crystal Beast monster is involved into a, a attack, it doesn't matter if you attack or if they attack you, you get to summon it from your hand. Okay, cool. His really cool effect that I like is while he is in your spell and trap card zone, you get to banish him and then special summon a crystal beast monster. Except himself, I'm pretty sure. But its effects are negated. That's the only downfall about that. Which is great to push out your 2k defender brick turtle. As I like to do. Um, continuing on, we play 3 crystal master, being able to tribute itself and add any ultimate crystal. Crystal Beast or Crystal Spell or Trap. So it's pretty much going to be your extender if you open up with the uh, Rainbow Bridge Continuous. So that way if a uh, place gets stuffed out somewhere here or there, you can use it to get whatever else you need. It doesn't matter if it's Bond, your Counter Trap, Conclave, whatever you're trying to set up for. Um, it can get you your Ultimate Crystal if you open up with your Quick Play so that way you can get your Rainbow Bridge Normal or your Rainbow Bridge Continuous. It just really opens up your window to your plays on your hand depending on how you want to use it. Uh, mandatory three of, and you can't tell me any other different, is uh, Pegasus. So that, um, and anyway, whenever Pegasus gets summoned, you get to take any Crystal Beast from your deck and place it in your spell and trap zone. Your usual play is Carbuncle, or now what I like to do is if my Crystal Bond gets uh, smacked out while I have Pegasus in hand, I'll go ahead and just put up my uh, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon and go for the effect, just that way I have the bodies and stuff get set up, you feel me? Um, Going in for the two of Carbuncle. Um, probably one of the most amazing cards for the deck, being able to summon your monsters from the spell and trap zone if it's special summoned. You won't get this effect if you normal summon, which is the sad thing about Carbuncle. Um, for the one ofs, again, the one ofs are just what I feel like aren't really much of a viable option and see them as bricks. Turtle, being able to switch one to defense if you attack. Tiger, being able to gain 400 whenever he attacks an opponent's monster. Uh, Amethyst Kidders, being able to attack directly for uh, half of the attack, so 600. Cobalt Eagle, now hear me out. I've been really thinking about putting Cobalt Eagle up to two, just because there have been times where I need to either put back my Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon on the top of my deck so I can see it for a follow-up play to set up more. Or my, um, it just slipped my mind, my Sapphire Pegasus to put it back on top so I can fuel more names for a uh, Rainbow Dragon summon type of play. And Mammoth being able to change any attack on a Crystal Beast monster to him. Going in for the three of the Awakening of the Crystal Beast. So this is part of our new support, so with this thing you can reveal an ultimate crystal in your hand, or if you control one, you can choose to activate both bullets simultaneously. So you do the first one and then the second one, but if you but if you can only reveal it, you get one. So you can either take a Rainbow Bridge, being your Rainbow Bridge Continuous, or your regular Rainbow Bridge, and add it to your hand, or send it to your graveyard. The second bullet is you can special summon any one Crystal Beast monster from your hand, deck, graveyard, or spell and trap card zone, which is going to be phenomenal for this deck because you're pretty much, 
doing everything but banishing unless you're touching a couple of your fusion monsters, which even then that still gets your resources back. Hence why I want Eagle at 2 again. Um, continuing on, speaking of Rainbow Bridge, we're playing 3 Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. Um, I kind of see this as a mixture of the Flunderies map and the Continuous spell, being able to give you an additional normal summon, but instead of you tributing off an opponent's card, if a uh, Crystal Beast gets put into your Swallow and Trap card zone, you get to bounce one card and a card your... You get to bounce this card specifically, my bad, Conclave is any one card, but it's this one. In any one card your opponent controls, put it back to the hand, which is a funny way to cycle your contact C, so that way you can try to, you know, keep your opponent out of their extra deck and whatever. Um, another niche thing about it is you can use this to fill up your spell and trap card zone by popping a uh, crystal beast monster you control and adding any crystal spell or trap, so that just gives you more fuel to extend your plays. I actually decided to play two Rainbow Bridge. And uh, my trap ratio is the reason why. Uh, if I were to change up anything, I would probably draw Ultimate Crystal Magic to 2 and bump this back up to 3. But uh, this just gives you any crystal spell or trap from your back to your hand. And speaking of crystal spells, we got a Crystal Bond, being able to add any one Crystal Beast from our deck to our hand and then placing one with a different name in our spell and trap zone. And this is a card I like to dedicate my Pegasus Search to, so that way I can put my Rainbow Dragon and then banish off the Rainbow Dragon to get the monster, you see what I'm saying? Anyway, um, yeah, we hate back rows, so we're going to play two Cyclone. Just, we don't want to deal with cards that give us problems like that. Ironically enough, I only play two of the Crystal Miracle Counter Trap. So whenever your opponent activates a monster spell or trap, you can activate this, destroy a Crystal Beast monster you control, negate, destroy, whatever, blah, 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 okay, cool. Um, this can also activate its second effect within the same turn, because it is a counter trap you have to wait for it to fully resolve and touch graveyard for its second effect to activate uh you can banish it from grave and then place any one crystal beast monster from your graveyard into your spell and trap zone uh conclave because we want to be able to keep control and not only that have the board presence uh with that being said uh conclave if a face up crystal beast is destroyed by battle or card effect i can special summon any one from my deck and again that's where we push carbuncle a little bit so that way we can summon from the back and keep the presence against those boards I like to spam. Um, another thing that I like about it, it's another control card being able to send itself, targeting a Crystal Beast card and one card your opponent controls. Again, contact C, cycle, bouncing back to hand. Um, yeah, again, the card I'm playing two of, which again, discuss ratio, you can cut it down to one and bump the bridge up to three, but I really like this at two because I want to be able to touch over dragon more on my opponent's turn. So uh, whenever a crystal beast monster is destroyed by battle, I can send seven from my deck, field, whatever, to grave, and then fusion summon an ultimate crystal. And then there's something else, I forget its other effect. If I face up ultimate crystal monster control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, I can banish this card from my graveyard and then place any number of crystal beast monsters from my graveyard face up in my spell and trap card zone. Um, extra deck, again, pretty straightforward and simple because it's only three. Uh, when this thing is fusion summoned, if you do the whole uh, gimmick of tributing a 10 and all that jazz, you get to banish crystal beast that'll gain attack. Okay, cool, whatever. The reason why I like to make this on my opponent's turn off of this is because it has a quick effect to tribute and then just shuffle all cards back into the deck. A uh, great way to recycle some plays, save your ass a couple times. Good way to screw your opponent over on getting uh, their board established and getting uh, the momentum against you. Um, more of a turn two OTK type deal. Again, just three of the ultimate crystal, rainbow, dragon, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if this thing is made with all the different crystal beast names in your banishment, it will gain 7,000 attacks, so it will be 11,000. You contribute this card, shuffle all cards on the field back. Okay, cool. If this card releases a field, so if you do the tribute effect to, you know, shuffle back, you get to take Crystal Beast monsters from your banishment and summon them back out to the field, which is kind of hilarious because if you have two of your, uh, this is why I want to say I want to run three, but if you have your uh, two Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragons banished and you summon them back, that's already six grand right there. But anyway, so... That's the profile. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Hit the notification bell for more. We'll catch you in the next one.